I'm at the house at 827 Point Crossing in the High Point at West Creek Subdivision. I'm going to give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This would be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is July 5th, 2015, about 6 p.m. in the evening. This subdivision is off of 1604 near Sea Road. So you're also close to Highway 151 or going south towards Lachlan north towards uh, UTSA, USAA, and Six Flags. Right here in the front we got a two-car garage. I'm not going to show you the interior of it, but it does have a garage door opener. Nice brick exterior and stonework here. The community has a commun two community pools, playground, basketball, tennis courts, soccer fields, jogging trails, a whole bunch of community amenities. The house itself is a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, Square footage here is roughly 2,294 square feet. The house definitely feels a lot bigger than the square footage would indicate. A quick layout here, we're right here at the entry. We have tile and laminate floors downstairs. Upstairs is laminate. The only place that there's carpet is gonna be on the staircase and in the closet. So really there's not much of any carpet in the home. Quick layout here, then to the right is the uh, converted formal dining room. Straight ahead is the living room. Around the corner from the staircase is gonna be the uh, kitchen and eating area. Uh, here's just a coat closet. So what they did is converted this formal dining room into an office or study. We got uh, Nice laminate floors and the blinds were just recently installed within about a week or two of this video being taken. So we got brand new blinds throughout the whole house. All right, then off of the uh, study, we got the half bath, your commode and your pedestal sink. Also, there's nice nine foot ceilings throughout the house. So you definitely have a, a more open feel just because the ceilings upstairs and downstairs are nine feet. So there's a nice large living room area. And then we have a beautiful kitchen here. We have uh, upgraded Corian countertops. This is a breakfast bar. You can put some stools here to use this as an additional eating area. We have lots of cabinet space, nice towel backsplash, uh, lots of cabinet space and lots of counter space. We got the island, flat top stove with a built in microwave, with the double sinks and the uh, dishwasher. Then we also have here the uh, eat-in area or so you put your dining table so you have a large space here you can put a good size dining table again if you want to you can use that front room as a formal dining it just gives you an option to use that as a study very large walk-in pantry lots of space for your food items and then here for here we have the washer and dryer hookups and behind there's additional shelf space. In addition to having a good sized house, this has a fantastic sized yard. It's 0.18 acres, so almost a fifth of an acre is a total lot size. We have nice uh, tile on the patio, We've got a nice covered patio here for barbecues. And you can see how large an area this is here. Now if you look beyond the fence line, there is no direct back neighbor. That is actually the uh, cul-de-sac behind here. So you don't have a direct neighbor behind you. But also very large lo large uh, yard. You got some nice trees and plants here. So lots of room to uh, roam around or play. Okay. Let's head upstairs. As I mentioned, this is one of the only two places we have carpet. It'd be the stairs and the closets. Now upstairs we have a uh, higher uh, end 
Higher quality laminate floors. This is very high quality here. It's got a nice uh, gloss to it. This is the uh, game room. Good size. Use it as a second living room if you like. Again, we still have the nine foot ceilings throughout upstairs. I always call the master's bedroom number one. So I will call this one bedroom number two. Again, a nice beautiful laminate floors. Ceiling fan in all the bedrooms. Nice blinds, and then each of the uh, bedrooms have their own walk-in closet, so that is unusual to have. Good shelf space. This is the hall bath. You get your sink, commode, tile floors, and shower tub combination. And then another nice feature here is we have a built-in desk at the uh, upstairs area here, so we have some additional storage. Again, Corian countertops, so the upgraded countertops. Bedroom number three. Now, the, the previous bedroom was a good size. Now, this is actually a little bit oversized, a little bit large. It's about 15 feet by 10 feet, so it is actually larger than most uh, secondary bedrooms are. Get a nice ceiling fan. It also has its walk-in closet. Here we have the master bedroom. It's a large size master. You could easily fit a king size bed, um, have nice sounds on either size, and have room on uh, the, another wall for dressers and large furniture. So you definitely have lots of room to set this up how you'd like. And then also a very nice large walk in closet. You have double doors leading to the master bathroom. Very open, nice tile floors here. You have dual sinks. You have a nice deep garden tub, perfect for relaxing after a long day at work. That is deeper than most garden tubs I've seen. And then you have a nice uh, stand-up shower. And there's your commode. So this is a great house, very open, very big, extremely large yard, great community features. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.